Good morning, my pre-K friends. Welcome to our very first video calendar time. A lot has happened since we were last together. Look at all these days. We started a new month, and all these days in the new month have already passed. In fact, we're, we're even past the middle of the month. Some of you folks might know the name of this new month because there's a few of you that have either have had birthdays or are going to have birthdays. And in case you don't know, the name of the new month is April. What letter does April start with? You said letter A. You got it. And look at the picture. What kind of weather do we have in the month of April? Can you see, folks, with umbrellas and raincoats and rain boots? I bet you guessed that we have lots of rainy weather in April. You can see what all that rain that we've been having is doing to the trees and the flowers and the plants outside. Have you noticed that the leaves are starting to pop out of the trees? And we've got pink blossoms, um, cherry blossoms I think finished blooming, and now we have some apple blossoms that are starting to come out. Lots of beautiful, beautiful trees are blooming in, in the Floral Park. We're so lucky to live in such a great area that has lots of trees and flowers. <clears throat> so I thought we'd get right back into our routine. Now I want to know how many of you remember our flow song, our days of the week song. You think you remember it? I hope so. But before we sing the day of the week song, I just want you to look at some of the special days that already passed in April. The first night of Passover happened. Easter happened. And this week, there's another special day called Earth Day. And it's a day when we stop and are grateful for the beautiful Earth that we have. And it's a day for us to think about what can we do to help keep our Earth and our neighborhood and our world beautiful. So on Friday, maybe we'll do a little bit more talking about our Earth Day. So let's get to singing hello. Let us sing hello to Safa, how are you? Let us sing hello to Luca, how are you? Let us sing hello to Harper, let us sing hello to Frida, let us sing hello to Nellie, how are you? Let us sing hello to Jack, how are you? Let us sing hello to Drew, how are you? Let us sing hello to Butch, let us sing hello to Justin, let us sing hello to John, how are you? Let us sing hello to Gavin, how are you? Let us sing hello to Mia, how are you? Let us sing hello to Cora, let us sing hello to Emma, let us sing hello to Joey, how are you? Let us sing hello to Liam, how are you? Let us sing hello, Miss Pia, how are you? Let us sing hello to Mary. Let us sing hello to Floral Park. Let us sing hello to the world. How are you? And a boom. Hey, good for you. You remembered. I hope you were helping me and joining me when we were singing all those names. All right, so the next song, you got it, it's the day of the week song. So let's get started. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, seven days, seven days, the week has seven Days. Well, I'm not even going to talk about the last time we came to school because it was many, 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 many weeks ago. But I'm going to tell you that yesterday was Sunday, April 19th. So who wants to guess what day of the week it is today? If you don't know, we can sing the day of the week song in our heads. Yesterday was Sunday, Monday. That's right. Today is Monday. Now, who 
we don't know what number is going to go down in that spot. Yesterday's number was 19. You think you want to take a guess? 19 is a pretty big number, and I know some of you folks are really good number guessers. So call out a number. What do you think comes next after 19? Okay, I'm going to wait and be patient. You guess. Okay, did everybody take a guess? All right. One way to find out what the number is, is by counting. So let's take a nice deep breath and blow it out. Okay, when we count, we always start with number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 19, 20. Good job. That was a lot of counting. Now I'm looking up here and I'm noticing that we have a different pattern up here than we did last night. So I'm not sure if number 20, let's see the pictures that we have here. I see umbrellas and I see flowers. Let's check out the pattern and find out what's going to come next. 19 is on a flower. So let's work, let's sing the pattern and then we'll find out what the picture's going to be for number 20. Okay. Umbrella, umbrella, flower, flower. Umbrella, umbrella, flower, flower. Whoops. Umbrella. you guess flower? Good for you. Here's number 20, and it is definitely a flower. So today is Monday, April 20th. Whoa, getting to the big numbers. So, what's been going on in April? Well, I sent home a packet. So I think you already know what letter we're working on. But just in case you didn't have a chance to start the packet, I'm going to go over the letter that we're working on this week. But before I write that letter on that board, let's see if you remember the song. Where do we start our letters at the top? Ciao. Where do we start our letters at the top? If you're going to write a letter, then you better, better, better remember to start it at the top. Well, I'm going to write the letter and let's see if you can guess it. Start at the top. Str oops. Straight line down. should be using a different marker. Sorry about that. Start at the top. Straight line down. Jump up to the top. And a straight line across. Straight line across the middle, and straight line across the bottom. Anybody know what letter that is? That is letter E. Good for you if you guessed it. This is the uppercase E, and I'm going to show you what the lowercase E looks like. Because a lot of the words you see may have a lowercase E. But this is the uppercase E and the lowercase E. And the E says eh. letter E is, I'm going to use a lowercase e because it's not someone's name, E, G, G. That word is egg. And we started off uh, the month with some eggs hatching in our class. And if you remember, if you had a chance to go and watch that video, we had little baby chicks. They were adorable and cute. And Miss Jen drove them back to the farm where we got the eggs in the first place. And so now they're there with all the rest of their friends running around the barn. They're all having a good time. So when I was having to decide about a nursery rhyme for this month, I decided 
other to choose one that has an egg in it. You may have already talked about this rhyme with your grown-ups at home, but just in case you haven't, I'm going to read it to you. Now, you know how Mary usually has two nursery rhyme books that we look at, because even though the words for the rhymes are the same, the illustrations, do you remember that word? That, that's a big grown-up word that just means the pictures. The illustrations, the pictures, it means the same thing. The illustrations in our two nursery rhyme books are different because the illustrator, that's the person who drew them, is different. And each one has their own ideas. They use their own imagination to figure out what they think the characters look like. So when I checked my other book, this nursery rhyme was not in it. Sometimes it's in both books and sometimes it's only in one book. So we only have one illustration to look at this time. So this nursery rhyme is called Humpty Dumpty. And if you take a look at him, you can see that Humpty Dumpty is an egg. And here's the way the rhyme goes. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great ball. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. He fell off that wall and he cracked, unfortunately. And the king's horses and men couldn't put him back together again. Now, there is a Humpty Dumpty story for you to color and cut in those packets that got dropped off at your house. So I don't know if you had a chance to do that activity yet. But if you didn't, maybe today would be a good day to try. You have to color the pictures first. Then you have to just cut on the dotted line. And you're going to have three squares, three pictures. And then you have to put them in order. You have to t remember the Humpty Dumpty rhyme and think to yourself what happened first, what happened next, and what happened last. I hope you have a great time with that activity, and I'll see you next time on Friday. All righty, take care.